Okay, we're going to need to export our Tinkercad name and put it into our Google Classroom. So first off, let's go in and uh, get our name tag. So here's my name tag here. If it is actually finished, then we're going to be ready to export it. So to export the name tag, uh, if you've got more than one, we're going to click on the one that we're going to do. And up here is export, download and 3D print. Click on export and we want this STL file here. Now you should have already made sure that you renamed it because when it's going down onto the computer you're really going to need to be able to identify it as what it is. If you haven't renamed it, go up, click up in here and make sure you've typed in a good name. It should have your name and what it is. So name tag. So here is my STL file. It's come down and it's in my downloads folder of my computer. So uh, I'm now going to go into uh, Google Classroom and uh, I'm going to have to make sure that I sign into Google Classroom so um, first off that will be the thing for me to do uh, sign in and pop in my password remember make sure that you never let the computer remember your password on a shared computer and all of, all of our school ones really are shared computers here I am I'm in my uh, Google Classroom and there is the classroom so I'll just select that one and we have an assignment. The assignment is the name tag. I'm going to click on the name tag and uh, we'll just close the six. We know all about this add and create. That's what we're actually going to be doing. Um, so when you've downloaded your name tag from Tinkercad, you'll need to upload it here into Google Classroom. Click on the add create button and then search for, or I should say your STL file uh, in the downloads area. Make sure you submit and hand in the assignment. So we're going to go now to add and create and we're going to have to go and find a file. So this is the file that we downloaded onto our computer. So we're going to click on file and it's not going to be in these recent ones uh, because it's sitting on my actual computer. So it's not going to be in my drive. It's not going to be starred, not going to be recent. I'm going to have to go and upload it from my computer. And so if there was some way that I could see it on my screen there, I'd be able to drag and drop it, but I'm going to have to browse for it. Now, when I go into browse, I'm going to look for a downloads folder. Here is my downloads folder and there it is sitting up the top there. You may have to scroll through quite a few files and maybe other people's files on this computer because it's a shared computer but there is my one I know that's my one uh, sometimes we can sort them into date order so I click on that then I'm going to click on open and it'll take a moment as it uploads the file there it is there it's saying it's an unknown file and now I've it's helping me out by telling me what I've got to do yep now I've got to actually hand in the file so I'm going to click on hand in and there is an attachment yes that's what I want to go and I'll click on hand in and so then the whole thing has been handed in and uh, it will be available for the teacher to be able to have a look at and mark and in this case uh, he'd be able to download it and have a look at it that way so that's completely done and then remember you would also sign out of your uh, file at this point so we can go and click on sign out.